Hello everyone, myself Ashok. In this video, I am going to talk about Ursula M. Burns, who is former CEO of Xerox. Ursula M. Burns was born on September 20, 1958, is an American businesswoman. Burns is mostly known for being CEO of Xerox from 2009 to 2016, the first among black women to be CEO of Fortune 500 company and the first woman to succeed as a head of Fortune 500 company. She additionally was an Xerox chairman from 2010 to 2017. Burns is actually known as uh, serving on the board of directors on a multiple large American companies include Uber and American Express. She was the chairman on and CEO of Vion from later 2018 to early 2020 and the chairwoman of Tenure. In 2014, Forbes rated her the 22nd most powerful woman in the world. Among other civic positions, she was a leader of the STEM program of the White House from 2009 to 2016 and the head of the President's Export Council from 2015 to 2016. Burns first worked for Xerox as a summer intern in 1980 and permanently joined a year later after completing her master's degree. She worked in various roles in the product development and planning at the company for the remainder of the 1980s. In January 1990, her career took an unexpected turn when Wayland Hikes, then a senior executive, offered Burns a job as an executive assistant. She accepted and worked for him for roughly nine months for him before returning home because she was about to marry. In June 1991, she then became executive assistant to the chairman and chief executive Paul Allery in 1999. She was named vice president for global manufacturing. In May 2000, Burns was named senior vice president of corporate strategic service and being working closely with soon to be CEO Annie in what both women have described as a true partnership. Two years later, Burns became the president of business group operations. In 2007, Burns assumed the role of president of Xerox. In July 2009, she was named CEO of Succeeding Anne, who remained as a chairwoman until May 2010, the first black woman CEO to head a Fortune 500 company. Burns was also the first woman to succeed another woman as a head of Fortune 500 company. Shortly after being named CEO, Burns led the acquisition of affiliated computer service while as CEO. Burns was named an International Fellow of Royal Academy of Engineering in 2013. In 2016, she led Xerox in a split into two independent companies, Xerox Corporation and Content Incorporated. She remained chairwoman and the CEO of Xerox through the process. And when the appointed chairwoman of standalone document technology company after stepping down from the position in December 2016, Burns was succeeded by Jeff Jacobson. She retained the title of chairwoman of the newly formed document technology company until May 2017 when she left the Xerox board and her role as chairperson. Ursula Burns spent his life overcoming challenges and failure. This is the short story about Ursula Burns. Thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Thank you.